Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how much you should be sharing about your past. I have Nadia with me here again today. As usual, this is the No Name Podcast because we haven't decided on a name yet. Yep, and as usual, we're here to trauma dump again. Yeah, we might get cancelled, but <laughs> so be it. Alright, so <laughs> uh, how about we share with your partner and what will you not share? Like a new partner. I think I'll be quite transparent, but the information will come out over time, you know. Are you like that? Were you always like this? Like what? Uh, like transparent. Yeah, I feel like there's no point hiding anything. Because I've hidden stuff before, but not purposely, but I, uh, never mind. And then, it, you know, it came to fuck me in the ass. Nice. Yeah. You like that kind of stuff? No. <laughs> no, but you know, Singapore is very small, right? The, the issue I have is Singapore is very small. Yes. We are also, like, yeah. content creators. And in the past, I don't know if it's another topic for another day, but we have posted our relationships online. Mm -hmm. Not the wisest thing. For me, not the wisest thing I've done. I don't know about you. Oh, no. Definitely not. Yeah, but mm -hmm. we have that for another day. But yeah, because of those things, right, it's so trans it's so open up there that mm -hmm. I think I'm forced to be transparent about things because what goes wrong anyway. Yeah, but I feel like that, like, it's not really a great thing because when you get into something new, people be like, where's blank? Or like, where's your ex? Oh, then right, like, right. And they compare with your ex. Also. Yeah, the they comp ex the ex. like, eh, hey, the previous one, hey, prettier, better, prettier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, I, if, oh my god, if I was my, like, boyfriend, or I would kill myself, so like, why kill yourself? It's a, it's a mouth thing, or it's kind of thing. No, but, but some people get very insecure because of it, you know. Oh. I think because, particularly for our cases, your boyfriends are all not media people. Both mine were media in some sense. Yeah. Maybe. So, maybe they're used to that shit, like, it's oh, just that's why people or? who are not media people cannot handle it. Yeah, cannot handle because they're like, why are so many people giving me attention? Like, know who I am? Then they feel very like. Yeah, but yeah. it's like whenever I'm online, people objectify me. I've, I've spent my whole life being like, like, oh, this guy losing hair, or oh, this guy body fat now. Like, it's <laughs> normal stuff, you know, I don't really care. Yeah. But I think if you're new to it, it's kind of scary. <laughs> and the whole comparative behavior thing, something like if I meet someone new, I don't want to put them through that. So mm -hmm. actually, I don't really want to put it on online anymore. Yeah. Then, okay, like disclosing like body counts. What's your opinion? Uh, I say because I'm a guy, I think it's less frowned upon. But like, uh, to me, yeah. uh, to me, to me, I just want it to be in a reasonable amount. So this term. What's reasonable, a reasonable amount for you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like for girls, it? No, no, for for me, okay, for, for me, I don't want it to be a number that like when she sees, she's like, wow. Like wow, what a slut. <laughs> I mean, it depends how old you are. To be honest, right, I'm now 27. So. Mm. If you just do the math, right? I started dating like 19. That was my first case at mm -hmm. 19. So even just plus minus a bit, you know that, right? It's at least some X number. But to be honest, it's not like, I'm not trying to break some record. I'm not trying to make it higher. But it's just that it's been so many years since and it's normal. Uh, huh? Unfortunately, we have failed relationships. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault that we suck at relationships, right? So Hey, maybe we don't suck. You know? yeah, yeah, maybe it's them. Maybe it's them. It's probably them. Uh. No, no, no. Kidding me. Sorry. It's me. I have yeah, the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Play that Taylor Swift song. Uh. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, I just feel like for girls, it's a more touchy topic though. Cause I would like my, I would like if I met someone, I would like her to tell me about. Cause if I'm being transparent about mine, which I will be very transparent. And to be fair, I will only date someone where the number is lower than mine, lah. Really? What if like a girl of your dreams got tick all the boxes, but her Bro, body but my number is not like zero, right? My number, but is her body count is like thirty five. Mine is below thirty five. <laughs> Yeah, but if it's higher than yours, is she like fifty years old? Cause yeah, it doesn't no, make no, sense. No, she's like around your age. Nah, I don't, I don't tell it. Really? Cause how the f how do you get to thirty five? Why you just had a bad phase? Th how long was that phase? <laughs> like a while lah, but it just shot up. Nah, I don't think I, I wouldn't. I so mean, you, it just reflects oh. differently on your character. That number is a bit too high. To me, that number is high. Okay, okay. What if it was like five years ago? Count. If I say reasonable, ah, uh, uh. reasonable, and I'm being very generous here, tenish, uh, tenish is reasonable, and mm -hmm. that's and this me being like progressive, you know, like Sean being progressive right now, tenish. <laughs> like tenish, like below twenty lah. I mean, it plus it really depends on the character. I, I don't think I would frown upon like that kind of thing, but it's like mm. depends how much they've progressed and their maturity over the years. Because some mm, people, true. like you said, had a bad face. But yeah. to be honest, cause at my age now, I'm I don't know what's my belief system is that I want to date someone that is younger still. Mm. I don't want to frown upon, but like if I'm dating date someone like 23, 22, right? I can't see that number being so unreasonably high. You know what I mean? If you're like 22, mm. 23, can't really beat that high. You see, now you're 22. Imagine when you are my age. I I don't know. We'll have visit this conversation like privately, but it might change, right? It will probably change, right? Probably lah. Right? Not, it can't go down. Or maybe even then, I still don't want to hit that number. Then it just stays. Like, yeah, the yeah. number it is now, now. Now you're going to be like, you know, very pious ah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> no lah, but I feel like, okay, like, I feel like this goes, like the whole Singapore is very small thing. I feel like it really, yeah, I've heard stuff about me from other people because it's like, especially when like, you know, like, you're like a content creator. So it's like, hey, you know what? Uh, you hear last time. different kind of people. 
Yeah, and they have mutuals who have mutuals who yeah. have mutuals, and then people talk a lot. I'll let you in on something. Uh. For me, right, I have, I don't date. Generally, people I've dated like the last mm. few ones are not Singaporean, so I don't have that heck. issue. That's a heck. So that's that's not so I don't have that issue. But mm. it's not something that like yeah, dating people like who are not from Singapore it is good because you don't really have a lot of like mutuals. Mm. You can't talk, but I feel like I have a preference for Singaporeans also because like I feel it's easier. You like to, the Uniqlo shirt, lah. Yeah, that Arizm got me like. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's like, don't you feel like when you date, right? Like, if they don't really talk, like, like you know, no Singaporean food or like what? Like, it's very hard to mm. relate or bond mm. with them. Oh, wait, I haven't asked you yet. So, what's your, huh? your, your body on? Huh? What's your body? Secret. Secret, uh? I think virginity is a mindset. I just restart, restart. Right, you know, it's a construct, bro. I like, heard this thing, right? That you, every seven years, right, there's new body cells. So, technically, if you're, like, yeah. alone for seven years, right, you can renew your virginity card. <laughs> I knew it now seven years old. <laughs> 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 cannot, cannot, cannot. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> but as in like, I think as best you can, you try not to like, because Singapore is small. I think you actually try to keep things under wraps. Yeah, actually, I didn't keep it under wraps like in 2021. That's why it's like, I thought, you know, oh, people would just keep it to themselves. But mm. actually, a lot of guys, like maybe the ones that I gonna like always kiss and tell. It could be a guy thing, you know. Guy, guy see it as like a flexing thing. Girls try to keep more demure about it. Yeah, exactly. Societal. And I, yeah, but the thing is like we've had agreements like oh let's not talk about it. But then I hear it from someone else, and I'm just like oh. That's why mm. now like when I respect myself more, right, I I like don't give access to like this kind a of lot. Of, yeah, or like I don't really give people access to me so easily, so yeah. that they can't say like oh now they're them easy or like or, you know yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of thing. As in for me, mm. I think I would still I only tell when it's serious. Like I would tell. Because for me, when I meet someone, I'll just tell them. Because I think it's a private... Mm-hmm. For me, I'll tell. Mm. That's generally how I always see it. I'll tell. Because okay, to me, it's not so outrageous right now. It's not outrageous yet. But I'll tell. For, I'll tell. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll tell also. Nothing to hide. Yeah. But I mean, if you want to build a strong relationship, you shouldn't study on the precedence of lies. Because I already... I already talked about it in like a previous podcast about cheating and stuff. Mm. Right? I don't like to lie. So as long as you're open about it, you show that you come from a place of maturity and that this is not what represents you... Mm. And to be fair, it's just a reasonable amount. I don't want it to be like a shocking a shocking number. Okay. So, like, you would tell the number, but will you tell who? Or you uh, think it doesn't matter? You know, you know, this one matters if they know the person. But for me, because I don't think it will present to that, that, that situation. Mm. Since for mine, I don't really date people that know each other. Okay. But then do you think it's valid, right? Or like, if they get angry that you never tell them if it's someone they know? Because when it's someone you know, you'll always feel a bit sensitive about it. Like, let's say, like, my partner has been with this guy before. I'll feel a little bit, like, I'll be war- wary, la, or, like, watch out oh, for this yeah. dude. La. A little bit, a little bit. Mm. I'm not really an insecure dude by nature, but I think, like, what I said, like, past trauma, everything mm-hmm. kind of affects this a bit more. So, I'm a bit more selective on that. Okay, okay. As in, like, will you tell, okay, if, you, if you've, if like, done something with someone that they know, right, will you tell them or wait for them to ask? I don't think I'll date a girl that I've done something with one of their partners with, like, one of their friends with. No, what if, like, they're not close, but they know this person. But you only no, find out not when. Happen. Oh, like I just gonna make sure it's not gonna happen. Like how? This is like six degrees of separation thing, right? Like everybody is connected at some point, but I don't want to make it so close. If it's your best friend that I've been mm. with, no go. Oh, I gonna be for acquaintance. Like the... Fine, you know, like a distant acquaintance mm. can. But I think, I think out of respect, like a bro code, I would never be with a bro's like girl. I never. Right. Okay, okay. That's just on principle because I just I just believe that there's many fishes in the sea. You don't have to go and mess up your bro because I've been yeah, messed true. up. If you've been messed up before, you know how badly that hurts, right? Mm. So it's like, yeah, I don't want I don't want to put my bro or the girl through any of that. No, not necessary. Mm. Yeah, the true. world very big one. So does experience matter? No, sorry, is high body count ever a bro? Wow, well, honestly, okay. I feel like if you justify it or like you think about it maybe he has cost more experience than they kind of you know but I've like heard from friends like people body count super high right but they and still they do suck. not do please a girl yeah oh. so and then I've also met people who like their body count very low right but they damn good you know every guy so, would just say I'm damn good it's like yeah. a thing. <laughs> wow but then once it cut, the girls kiss and tell right you know who is yeah, good yeah, who is yeah. not on. Yeah. I don't think experience matters but the high body count doesn't mean you're great. I still think it's more about chemistry and adventurousness. Yes. Adventurousness. Like, you must yeah. have the, you know, like, the Chinese yeah. sink. You must have, like, sink. You know, yeah. must, must have the passion. Yeah. And also, like, I feel like, how to say, caring about the other person's pleasure is very important. Yeah, you cannot do everything for yourself. Yeah, You, know, you yeah, have to be, like, yeah. two ways, you know. So, how important is uh, sex to you? How important? Yeah, in a relationship. Do you think it matters? Yeah. Of course, uh. My. Is that your love language? No. What is it- your love language? Mm, my love language words, words of affirmation That's what and they all say uh. That's what Every girl says that uh. And acts of service No like Cause I'm, I'm a acts very Acts of service can be In the bed also uh. 
but not that kind of service lah. Okay, well, like so actually, I do that. physical touch is one of my lowest. Oh, As really? in, like I like it, but just cause you do like you hug me or it doesn't it doesn't make me feel like oh my god like that means that means he like loves like, me. Oh. You like it's cause your love language is like how you, how like you feel meaning right? like like you know. It gives love meaning, but to me, it's like, oh, you're just showing affection. But to me, it's like, if you put in the effort to use your words or acts of service, then that's more like, oh, you're putting in your effort. Mm. But I would still say sex is very important. Will you say your libido changed over the years? Like your sex drive? Uh, you answer first, uh, let me think. For me, obviously, when I was 18, I was like, mm. different. I, I would say it's still high. It's just that right now, it's not the highest thing in my priority list. I have other things to give a shit about. Like I've, mm. I've worked to settle. I need to make sure that like I'm preparing for my future and like I want to settle my family as well. Mm. So I'm having all these thoughts that to me is not the one factor that matters the most. But when I was younger, yeah, I did. N- now it's not the, li- the li- libido low. It's just that more priorities to take care of. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, mine is like, I think like de- depends on the partner like who I'm with. Because like I don't, I'm, it's not necessarily like very high but like if I'm with a partner who's like good or something, right, then mm. it's more likely to be high because like you, like you crave it more like, kind of mm. thing. Yeah. But I'm not just like, How much is too much? <sighs> wow. Like, okay. <laughs> cut la, cut. Cannot la, cannot. <laughs> <clears throat> um, sufficient la, you know, quite for me, for frequent. me, like, I would say for my previous partners, I cohabitated. So I don't mm. know how you feel about that. Like, what do you think about cohabitation for marriage? Agree? Disagree? Mm. Like living together. Yeah. yeah, I think that when you have that kind of time together, you, it definitely increases the volume. Uh. Mm. <clears throat> it's also like, a good thing to me, though. Yeah, like cohabitation, like in terms of sex or like in general. In general, and <laughs> I f- I feel like it's needed though, cause like I feel like okay, like couples, right? Like you, yeah, you're dating. We don't live together. Then what if you live together? You your habits don't really. Yeah, you I would say sync like up. the first thing you gotta do is at least go on a long trip together. Yes. Like that's the first stand- standard. If you yeah. can do that, then go into go into moving in together. I think that helps. And as long as your both parents agree and you are both progressive with it, mm. sure, why not? Because your living habits might be very different. Yeah. Then you might have like disagreements. So oh. what are your parting words on like what would you have done differently? When? Like if you meet someone new, how how will you do it differently now? You will you still be as transparent? Yeah. I feel like it's needed lah. And I'm not embarrassed of my number. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Reasonable. Uh? I think it's very reasonable, okay. you know? Yeah. And like for me, I feel it's like if you can't accept it, then it just shows more on you. Because people have been like insecure about my number. What? But then I realised, like I used to find that, like I find fault with myself. Like, oh, is it really high? Or is it like, am I? I'm just like, no, it's not like, I'm not a problem. Like if it's I'm too, <laughs> like if it's too high for you, then you can go. But to me, it's like, I can justify why it's that number. And I don't think it's a high number at all. And sometimes there is reasons for the number, right? There are periods, right? Yeah. Like, for me, if I'm going to be very honest, when I was your age, I, I, I straight up just tell you, it was lower than yours. Right? Mm-hmm. Your age, mine was lower at that time. But each time, there's like a traumatic issue, right? <laughs> like yes. Happens, right? Like, oh my because God. you handled trauma earlier than me. Like, my trauma came only like last few years. Mm. So to be honest, right, I, I'm very transparent with this. I, I was also like chill. But mm. it's like, once I had a bad breakout and stuff, right, I get... Yeah, it just, it just hits you different. Yeah. Right? Like the whole self-esteem thing yeah. we're talking about. And then, yeah. uh, it's not the right thing to say. It's not the right thing to do. But at the same time, like, I can't help how it happened. Like. It's just, that's how it happened. Yeah, and mine, it only, like, increased because of the traumatic thing, right? And I think it's, like, why I realised that is also because, like, like, when I look back at it, right, I'm just like, hey, that's, that's really not me. Because I was not like that before yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm not like that now. So yeah, I know yeah. that it's just it's period, accounted uh. to that period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully that was a good takeaway anyway. Uh, <laughs> that's all for this video. Remember to like, share and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.